All right, colony eggs are in the news, and you know, perhaps they've been marketed as better alternatives to caged eggs, etc., etc. But that's only from a consumer point of view. That's not from the chickens' point of view. The chickens are still doing a job, and that is what we should have a problem with. Not how they are, or how they're treated, or how they're housed or caged, whatever you want to look at it. Um, they're still unfairly treated because they're still made to do a job that they don't really want to do. They're producing a lot more eggs than what they would in nature. So that is what we should have the problem with. Colony eggs, is it ethical? No. Are any of the free range, caged, whatever you want to call it, organic, free range, blah blah blah, grass fed, corn fed, it's still unethical to make animals do things that they don't want to do. The only way to stop it is to not purchase them, so vote with your dollar. If you have a problem with colony eggs or any of the other eggs, for that matter, don't buy them. Eggs aren't healthy, full of fat and cholesterol. Why would you want that in your body? It is chicken period. If you don't know that it is chicken period, look it up. Most people aren't even aware of that fact, so check that out before. Um, you wouldn't eat the period of another dog or animal or whatever, you know. It's weird. The fact that we still eat eggs for protein is just tragic. If you're unsure of how much protein your body actually needs, look that up before you go on and buy more eggs. Um, yeah, eggs, it's not good for you. Don't buy them. It's nice and simple. It's easy to go without. There's much more tasty, alternative, healthier foods to eat. So, colony eggs. <laughs> All eggs from chickens, um, even if it's from the house next door. You know, your neighbour that has them or whatever. Why would you eat something that's unhealthy?